Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C Hornet and we're looking at the ACM functionality and modes of the Hornet radar. So the air-to-air -air radar is generally split into two methods. One, BVR. Two, ACM. BVR is generally accepted as beyond 10 mile engagements and ACM within 10 mile engagements. However, there is usually some crossover. We have plenty of functionality in this aircraft for ACM. So we have seven modes that we can use. GACQ, it means gun acquisition mode. It has a range of up to five nautical miles. So if the target is at six miles or beyond, it will not be able to pick him up. The resultant radar lock for all of these is going to be a single target track. And the way we can get in to GACQ is by selecting the gun, assuming that we don't already have a target track. The second, BRT, Boresight, has a range of up to 10 nautical miles, will result in STT, and to initiate this, we will use SCS forward, and this is assuming that we're coming from a BVR radar mode. VACQ, Vertical Acquisition, range of up to 5 miles, result in STT, and the way we get into this is SCS forward, then SCS backwards. The first forwards in this sequence here is just to get us into ACM mode from BVR mode, and the back Back here is actually to get us into the vertical acquisition. WACQ wide acquisition, a range of up to 10 miles, results in STT, SCS forward to get us into ACM, and then SCS left into WACQ. The next, it's debatable really whether it's ACM or BVR, it's usually accepted as something in between. AACQ automatic acquisition, the range is depending what we've got our BVR radar set up to, results in STT, and this is done during BVR mode rather than ACM mode, press of SCS right. Next, HACQ, helmet acquisition. So this assumes that we've got our JHCMS, our helmet site up and running, basic helmet acquisition, a range of up to 10 nautical miles, results in STT, and we're going to use SCS forward shorts, a press of less than 800 milliseconds to initiate that. LACQ, long range helmet acquisition, basically the same thing, except up to 40 miles, and we press SCS forward long, more than 800 milliseconds press and release. So now let's go and use these and look into some more details. With all these examples we're going to assume that we're coming from a BVR radar mode. So we'll come here, we'll have our AMRAM selected, we'll have our range wall scan selected and we have to go into an ACM mode from that position. So the first thing we're going to do is our GACQ. So we're going to press gun select and you can see that we now have a 20 degree diameter dotted circle here. All we've got to do is maneuver so the hostile becomes within that circle within five miles and it will convert that to an STT. Also see boxed on the radar screen down there, AC, we're now in ACM mode. You can actually see what the antenna is doing in terms of sweep as well. Okay, we've got him. Now once we get the STT, we get the STT symbology. You can see a target designated box here, an arrow from our boresight cross pointing to it. We have our range and we have our closing velocity. We also have various weaponry information depending on which weapon you've got. However, we're not going to go into that because that's going to be covered in the weapons videos. So we're now going to reject this target with undesignate button. We're going to press AMRAND to take us back to BBR. And next we're going to try boresight. So we're going to press SCS forward, we're now in boresight mode, ACM is boxed again and we've got a 3.3 .3 degree boresight circle with a scan range of up to 10 miles, so let's go and get the guy. And we have a lock, very easy. We're going to head off again, undesignate, BVR with AMRAM. Okay, next we're going to try vertical scan, so first we need SCS forward to get this into ACM mode and boresight. Now, SCS back or aft and we've got a vertical scan. I didn't show that very well so I'm just going to try that again. Pause it this time. We've got down to minus 13 degrees vertical off boresight up to positive 46 degrees and between these two lines is where we're scanning. It's quite a big scan zone so just be prepared to wait a bit for the radar to scan in terms of elevation up and down. And remember this is only up to five miles. Okay and we got him. So let's undesignate again and ram back into BVR. Now we're going to press SCS forward to get into ACM. And now we're going to press SCS left. I'm just going to hold there. This turns this into a wide acquisition mode. What we've got is like a letterbox kind of shape here. So we're now scanning a wide letterbox shape aligned to the horizon, if you like, in terms of its roll. Now the whole, whole idea of this is that we can press the cage on cage button and actually move this letterbox up and down within the slew limits of the radar. That ability is not implemented yet December 2019, but that is something that will happen. So for now, it's just a basic letterbox shape scan, and it doesn't say the limits in the user manual. So 
let's go and try and pick someone up with that. Okay, we've got that guy there. Let's undesignate. I'm back in BVR. Next, I'm going to show auto acquisition mode. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out to whatever scan range I want, and that sets the limit to what I'm going to be searching. Say 20 miles here. I'm going to put some hostiles in front of me. I'm going to make sure that we have the TDC assigned to our attack radar screen, and it can. Uh, we do, because we can see the diamond in the top right there. Now I'm going to press SCS right, and it's just going to pick up the first guy it sees in our scan zone. And it's picked up. Not even the closest guy, but just the first guy. And the first guy that the B-sweeps come across is that guy up there. And it's going to give us an STT lock on a guy over there somewhere. That's AACQ. So we're going to undesignate now. Back to BVR. Next, we're going to use our helmet-mounted display. So we're going to turn it on, let it warm up. So from BVR, we're going to press SCS forwards and that takes us to enter ACM mode and the basic HACQ because we did not press and hold it for more than 800 milliseconds. All we do now is move my head so that we get this guy highlighted and if he's within 10 miles, boom, that's an automatic STT, really simple. Now let's uh, undesignate, back to BVR. What I'm going to do now is press and hold SCS forward for more than 800 milliseconds and then release. We're now in LHCQ and in case I didn't make it obvious earlier, it says what mode we are in there. Long range helmet mounted acquisition mode, exactly the same but this will go up to 40 miles to try and get that. And that's got him there. So that shows the seven different modes we have of ACM in the Hornet at the moment. Like I said, wired acquisition will be uncageable and slewable with the TDC slew keys at some point, but not at the moment. And if I put it into helmet quickly, no, if I put it too far out of limits in terms of the radar, it will start flashing like that. I mean, it's out of limits and can't be used. Otherwise, I hope that was useful and see you later.